Hi folks, and welcome to a new episode of the Adobe at Adobe Behind the Scenes podcast. In this episode, I want to introduce you to a new feature of the HTL template library, and it is uh, a template HTL block statement. And I want to especially highlight the feature of nested templating. I created this test page before, and what we are going to do is to create a new component and so that it shows up in the sidekick. This is switching to Serix Delight. And you know you should never do that, but for the sake of this demonstration, we will create a component in Lips Foundation Components. I create a new node with the name HTL demo, um, sorry, HTL sitemap and the um, type CQ component. Save it. We give a title to this component. And we also want to add it into a component group. So next we need a dialog in order to have it uh, visible in the sidekick. So I just create an empty dialog. And we also need our actual script. So I'm saving this and add an empty title, HTL, sitemap demo, and now we switch back to our CQ page. I reload the page and I will switch to the design mode. And then we will select the group HTL demo. And when we switch back into the edit mode, we will see our component group. And inside the component group, we see our HTL demo component. So I will drag and drop it into our paragraph system. And you see our static HTL sitemap demo title. <coughs> Let's switch back to our script. So first we create a list and I use the data HTL list block statement to list the children of the current page. And then we just print out the page title. So go back and reload my page. And now we see all the children of this page. But of course, this is not really a sitemap what we have, right? So we actually want to show the whole tree structure. In order to do that, we can create a new template block. So I've created an HTML5 template tag, and the HTML block statement name is template as well. And then I will give this template a name so I call it sitemap. Now it's getting interesting. So I can define options and I can define named parameters. So other than in Java or JavaScript, then you have to know the exact position of the function or method parameters. We can here define named parameters. So I say that we expect uh, a parameter with the name page. Next, I just copy the whole code we had into this template. And now we said the name parameter is page. So I copy this page. I need to change it from current page to page. And I save it. And exactly like the description of the HTML5 template tag, um, there is no output. So the HTML5 template tag is in the shadow DOM. And we basically just remove this as well from the output. So in order to call this, we use uh, another data HDL block statement, and it's called call. So we have data HDL call. 
And then we define basically the name of the template we want to call, and we say we call sitemap. And next we need to define our actual parameter in the options. We say options page, and now we actually define the option. We say current page. And I will close my spam tag. And what happens with the data HDL call um, block statement, we will just actually remove this whole line and replace it with the output of our template. So when I reload this page, we will get again exactly the same output. Okay, and now we are actually already in the first step to get this nested. Um, I will copy our call statement. And what we can do, we can call inside our template um, again our same template. So in this case, we have the item. So we will call again ourselves, but um, with the item of the list element. And then basically, it will create a complete the whole block again. Reload the page, you can see that the whole sitemap is printed. I want to show you another feature of that. So in this case, the template was inside our um, HTL script. So I will now delete and copy this whole template block. And I want to create it into a separate file. So I create a new file with templates.html. And I will paste our block into this. So everything fine. So in order to call it initially from here, I have another options parameter. And this is called file. And I define our templates HTML um, to call from. So in this case, I tell the engine to call the template sitemap in the file template. So it will open this template file and search for a new block with the name sitemap. So and um, in order to demonstrate it, I will um, at here tpl.html so that we know that it really gets the new file. I switch back to my page and reload it. And you can see we get the same result, but it's out of our TPL HTML. So let's say we want to overlay that again. So we don't want to overlay the whole thing, but we just want to overlay this template. So for this, I do a regular overlay. So I'm creating in apps foundation, components, a directory HTL sitemap. And I create an overlay of the templates HTML. So I create a new file, templates.html. And I will copy the whole thing inside here. And in order to see it, I will say apps TPL HTML, we save it. And now it does the, a standard sling resolution. On reload, we see that it got the new file apps TPL HTML. That's it for this show. And uh, please subscribe to the podcast and visit the Adobe at Adobe blog if you like the show. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to use our blog functionality. And if you want to stay tuned on HTL, uh, subscribe to my Twitter account and um, to this blog. And I hope I see you the next time. Bye, guys.